Um, I'd like to formally welcome you to the uh, NCAI breakout session, Tribal Innovation, the Springboard for Preparing Tribal Citizens for Career Success. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Ian Record. I head the Partnership for Tribal Governance with the National Congress of American Indians. Um, just to give you a brief background on the partnership, uh, it's basically a, a standalone uh, program of uh, the National Congress of American Indians. It was established back in 2009 at the behest of tribal leaders um, who were seeking um, governance resources uh, on some critical uh, governance challenges facing tribal nations. Um, everything from governance reform to how do we engage our citizens to financial capability and how do we, how do we help our people build assets, become more uh, self-sufficient uh, in their own personal lives and, and on behalf of their families. Um, leadership development is another key component of what we do. Uh, and as part of that, we run sessions like this to share uh, the incredible uh, wealth of knowledge that Indian country possesses. Uh, and also the amazing uh, innovation and the ingenious solutions that have been crafted by tribal nations across the country, across the entire realm of tribal governance. Uh, so I wanted to briefly talk about, and we'll, we'll go more into this uh, towards the tail end of, of our uh, session today, is a project that um, we um, began about three years ago uh, with the generous support of the Northwest Area Foundation to really look at tribal innovation in workforce development. How are tribes innovating in order to develop their workforces, in order to cultivate uh, the potential of their people to uh, become self-sufficient, to contribute to the nation, uh, to enrich uh, community life, and so forth. And um, over the course of that project, uh, we um, have been uh, developing a series of case studies um, and I, some of you already have a copy of one of them. I will be circulating uh, copies to um, as many as we have left to other folks in the room. Uh, we have three of the five case studies that we've uh, developed are ready for sharing, and the other two are very close. And we'll be, re we'll be releasing those over the next uh, couple months. Uh, and another major component of this project is the development of a um, comprehensive brief that looks at what the federal government can do to support tribal innovation and workforce development. And that's the, um, the dark blue uh, publication that's been circulated to you. Um, I have uh, additional copies I'll hand each of you, and we have plenty more copies on the way out if you want to take them with you on the way out. Um, you're probably wondering why um, there's a video camera in here. Uh, this is not standard for all NCI sessions. Um, but the partnership feels very, very um, strongly that it's one thing for folks like you who have the luxury of attending conferences like this to learn directly from folks who are doing amazing work in whatever particular area uh, that the session is focusing on. Um, it's equally important, however, for you to have the tools uh, by which you can go home and share this knowledge with others. And so that's why we are video recording this. The plan is to um, edit this footage and make it available on our YouTube channel, uh, the NCI's YouTube channel, in the next few weeks. Uh, in addition, we're also going to be posting a series of other video resources that we've been developing over the past two years. This is actually the third uh, session in recent uh, memory that we have had on this topic of workforce development. We had a similar uh, session uh, at the mid-year conference in 2015 in St. Paul and at the annual convention uh, just a year ago in San Diego. And in very short order, all of those video resources will be available to you online. And I really strongly encourage everybody to sign the sign-in sheet that's being circulated because that's how we will let you know uh, where to go to access these resources as they become available. In addition to the video recordings of the sessions that we've been convening, we're also, we've also been doing a series of interviews with tribal leaders, tribal workforce development practitioners about this topic. And so, for instance, just this morning, um, I put Margaret here in the hot seat and, um, and grilled her for about 40 minutes about what Citizen Potawatomi Nation is doing on, on this, uh, in, in this area. And so, um, I, before I pass it over to our moderator today, I wanted to acknowledge um, the contributions of all of these panelists here 
to Alex and to others in the room who have contributed to the development of the brief. Um, this really is Indian Country's voice speaking about this, this topic, and I really appreciate their contributions. In particular, Norm, who um, probably got sick and tired of my incessant emails asking for clarifications and asking for additions and so forth. I think he got, he got, he got deeper into it than he had originally bargained for. But uh, that's what happens when you know so much about a particular topic. <laughs>